I'll get it. Very smart. Oh, thank you. You look very grown up. The bus driver said I could pass for 21. Uh, yes, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Derek Envy Standish. Envy Standish, Derek. I'm very pleased to meet you. How do you do? <laughs> ah, uh, you're the chap I saw in the garden, aren't you? Oh, yes, of course. You must be the chap of the Daxons. Yes. Rascal and ragamuffin, yes. Uh, may I help myself to a sherry, Ellen? Our house is your house, oh, No, 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 no. I'll get it. Derek. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Derek. <laughs> Two more sherries. Oh, lovely. Derek. Thank you. Envy is no friend. We were all at university together. Really? He's going to be staying with us. That's nice. How long for? As long as he likes. Oh. Thank you. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Would you go through? I think we're about ready. <clears throat> so... Um, what line of business are you in, exactly? I grill hamburgers. <laughs> no, no, that's a little true. <laughs> Me to spend the rest of the time, <laughs> quite convinced that Maguire was an agent for the KGB. <laughs> with Arthur Miller? Yeah. yeah. Well, to be absolutely accurate, he came to tea with my tutor, and my tutor was kind enough to invite me. How wonderful. What was he like? Dazzling. He's a set book now. Do you know, I shall never forget seeing you scoring the winning try against the Harlequins. Good Lord. Were you there? Yes, I was. Yellow tights and a white mini dress. I must have looked like a half-peeled banana. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> the way you slid that full back. He'd slowed up because he'd swallowed his other dentures. <laughs> rascal, ra uh, ra rascal and Ragamuffin. Uh, rascal and Ragamuffin did a very funny thing today. Really, Derek? What was that? Well, <laughs> they pinched a workman's sandwiches. <laughs> uh. Yes. Uh. As it was funnier to see than to describe. Oh, yes, yes. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that octopus in the dean's bath. <laughs> oh, how did you know about that? <laughs> what I'd like to know is how you ended up grilling hamburgers. And him. No, no, no. It's a perfectly reasonable question. Yes, I, I must admit, after hearing of your university exploits, uh, I am uh, rather intrigued by the uh, uh, seesaw effect since then. Hardly seesaw, day. When a seesaw comes down, it goes up again. After I'd resigned from the diplomatic service, everything suddenly seemed to have a downward spiral motion. I've told you about the coffee business, haven't I? He lost everything. Communists. It was as though my personal apocalypse had somehow been decreed. And for the first time in my life, I felt quite uh, helpless. Ill health, trust betrayed, corruption. And all the time, the standards that I set myself those years ago were being eroded until, uh, well... Well, you know the rest. Oh, I do apologize. Self 
Pretty running riot, isn't it? Couldn't you have written another book? I was too busy trying to survive. Oh. May I ask you why you finished with the diplomatic service? In the first place. Terry, please. I was press attaché to the British ambassador in Venezuela. There was an... It. There was an incident on a, on a balcony in Caracas. I'm sorry. 